Okay, I've been asked to go over this question, so let's have a look. This says, Pythag Air US Airlines has determined that 5% of its customers do not show up for their flights. If a passenger is bumped off a flight because of overbooking, the airline pays the customer $200. What is the expected payout of the airline if they overbook 240 seat plane by 5%? Okay, now let's just think about this intuitively. It's like if 5% don't show up for flights, but they overbook the plane by 5%, that means that they're going to have just enough people to fill it. So they overbook it by 5%, but 5% don't show up. So they've still got 100% um, of the seat capacity, which means that nobody's going to get bumped. If there's a seat for them, they don't get bumped. So intuitively, we can say that the airline's expecting to pay nobody, but let's see how, how we would do this with numbers here. So the number booked, they're gonna overbook it by 5%. So the number booked is 240 times 1.05, which equals 252 seats. Okay. So then the number of no-shows is 252 times 0 0.05 because 5% 5 of these 252 seats that they booked don't show up. That is 12.6. Now we can't have 0.6 of a person, but let's leave that in there for right now. Um, so if they have booked 252 seats, and 12.6 people don't show up, then they are down to 239.4, oh, that's not nine, 239.4 people show up for 240 seats. That means that everyone gets a seat. It's a seat. So the company expects not to pay anyone because they are expecting that through their calculations um, that everybody will get a seat. Uh, now, this doesn't always happen because sometimes all of those people will show up. It's just on average that 5% of their customers don't show up. So sometimes they will have to pay, but the expectation is that most of the time they will not. Hope that helps.